In this short but straight to the point video, I will show you how to change incorrect frame rate in Premiere Pro. If you want to know how to fix and convert for instance your 120 or 60 frames per second footage into a cinematic 24 frames per second too many frames. This video is specially for you. <laughs> Let's roll the intro. Welcome everyone, my name is Peter Kulik and I'm here with Hustle videos where we discuss video producing content and ways to appear on YouTube. I'm here with a new video every Tuesday, so please consider to subscribe. The common problem appears when you only have your high frame rate footage, which is obviously great for battery smooth B-rolls. However, on normal speed, such footage looks not right. It would definitely lack like this so-called cinematic look. The good news are, this is not the end of the world and I can easily fix it for you. Let me show you how to do it in Premiere Pro, but before we jump into my screen, have a look at my previous video where I have explained frame rate in more details. There's another video about how to start in Premiere Pro. Check this one as well. Okay, let's do it guys. Firstly, open new project, create new project and import your video files. Check your footage frame and resolution. This can be done by checking details within your footage list window. Basically the solve window to decide which I'm pointing right now. Create a new sequence, but make sure you choose the right resolution as you don't want to mess up your work. Name your sequence and then simply drag your video into the timeline. This video will pop up and the only thing what you have to do right now is to select keep existing settings. And voila, enjoy your 24 frames per second footage. The great news are you can still use your high frame rate footage to slow it down in a new sequence. Let's take another scenario. You have your 60 frames per second footage, which is not slowed down. So obviously it definitely lacks this cinematic view. Let me show you then another way to slow down your footage before dropping into your timeline. What you have to do is to right click and go to modify, then interpret the footage. Then type your 24 frames per second in this video and you are good to go. Slow motion, ladies and gents. That's it. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this episode will be straight to the point without wasting your time. Therefore, I hope you found this video useful, so feel free to leave a comment below. Hit the like button or subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so far. What I can say, eat hustle videos repeat. Bye, finito.